After playing Project Zomboid for a while, you may find yourself wanting to try a new challenge. Here is a list of mods that you can make to your games um, to make them more challenging and more interesting. First, you can start off with a new map. The best new map I've ever played is Graven Creek. You'll find yourself having to fight your way out. If you choose to make a base in one of these apartment buildings, it will likely be very different than ones you've built on the vanilla maps. Choose this map for a new exciting experience. Another option for upping the challenge of your game is a collection of trait-based mods. These are the More Traits, Even More Traits, and Expand Traits mods. More Traits offers a number of options, starting on the mild end with Bad Teeth, which gives your character pain after eating, and Sun Sensitivity, which makes your character get headaches in the sun. Then there are more significant options, such as starting out the Deprived Trait, which means your character will have no clothes and real weapon. Your character could also be an amputee, which will limit your character to only being able to do things involving one hand. This means your character can only use a one-handed weapon and will not be able to do any carpentry, among other things. Two of the more interesting traits are Injured and Burn Ward Patient. Injured will give your character random injuries to start with. This can be less problematic, such as hands or arms, or cause you to be unable to walk or run if the legs or feet are affected um, until they heal. This can really affect the early game. The most challenging trait is Burn Ward Patient. Every part of your character starts out burned with this trait. Your character will have to battle constant pain and you'll spend a lot of time changing bandages and making sure the burns don't get infected. This adds a significant challenge to the game. Even more traits adds PTSD, which increases stress and makes it harder to get rid of the stress. Insanity causes episodes of mania. Finally, Addict makes your character dependent on sleeping pills and pain pills and not having them cause your character to start to detox. Each of these adds their own challenges. The last of these mods is the Expanded Traits mod. This can give your character things like ADHD, heart palpitations, chronic kidney stones, or fibromyalgia. ADHD is mild because it only means your character will have to take beta blockers to read books to get benefits from them. Heart palpitations will force your character to take beta blockers on a daily basis. Chronic kidney stones will randomly make your character need to drink more and be in pain. Fibromyalgia will lead to your character having pain in each area of the body, and this will be on a daily basis, so you'll need to take pain pills to stop this. Give these traits a try for a new experience. The next mod is called Random Zombies Day and Night. This mod will randomize separately by day and night percentage of different kinds of zombies that will be out in the world. This includes the amount of crawlers, shamblers, and spreaders, and how tough and smart the zombies are. You can change these percentages in the custom sandbox setting. Playing around with the percentages can make your game as challenging as you want it to be. Feel free to experiment. Next, you have the Sun Sensitive Zombies, which is a similar mod. In this mod, you can select to have different kinds of zombies during the day and during the night. You can choose whether you want shamblers, sprinters, or have a mix of random boat of each. You can also choose how strong you want your zombies to be, from superhuman, down to weak, or again at random. Other things you can change are toughness, hearing, and eyesight, as well as cognition and memory. You can even make your zombies able to open doors. Each of these options can be selected for day and night, so you have different zombies during the day and night. For instance, you could force your characters to have to flee indoors at night to avoid superhuman sprinters with equal eyesight and pinpoint hearing. Next, if you think that your zombies should come back to life, I have the mod for you. Undying zombies change the percentage of zombies that will reanimate after you kill them. The default is 17%, but you can change the number from 0 up to 100. After the zombies die, give them time and they'll come back to life. Now, do you find the vanilla zombies to be too generic and boring? The CDBA zombies mod is the answer. It creates new categories of zombies from skeletons to ones that screech and even necromancers. You'll know you've run into special zombies because when you get near them, there will be a tag identifying the type, and sometimes you can tell just by looking at them, such as a skeleton. Having this mod will definitely make fighting zombies that much more interesting. The next mod is the Horde Knight mod. With this mod, there will be a random night where you'll be attacked by a very large group of zombies. You can choose things like when the horde starts, how many zombies each horde has, uh, and whether to have an indicator on the day of the horde night. Good luck preparing to survive the onslaught. If you didn't survive the onslaught, you will die. You can choose to make a new game or respawn in your current world. Make respawning in your current world more challenging with the spawn without anything mod. 
Now, the first time you spawn will be normal, but after you die and respawn, you will wake up literally in your underwear and uh, with nothing else. No clothes, no weapons, nothing. You will have to find these things for your character, or go for the ultimate challenge and try to survive just the way your character is. One note, sometimes this mod can glitch and cause your new games to create characters to start without clothes, but you need to uh, fix this by turning the mod off and then on again. Zombies can be aggroed by hearing and eyesight, but what about scent? If you're looking for another way for your character to risk alerting zombies in the area, turn on the Scent of Blood mod. You can change the, in the sandbox settings how close you need to be for the zombies to smell your character from various circumstances. These include the dirty bandages in general, mild open wounds, and more severe wounds. Now you have one more thing to worry about as your character navigates the world, or you could just make sure the character never gets hurt. Good luck with that. Luckily for your character, the blood on your character's clothes and weapons don't count. Lastly, you may want new scenarios to try out. Pillow's random scenarios will help you with this. In this mod, you will find new scenarios under the new game tab. Some of your options include being able to be in a mall, which is on fire, being an injured pilot after your character's plane crashed, or spawning in a prison cell with a random weapon and hungry zombies. The scenarios are set to apocalypse, but if you want to change the custom settings, create a save called Pillow. With these mods, you are sure to find different ways to make your game more challenging and interesting. Go ahead and give these challenges a try. Thanks for watching and look for future videos about Project Zomboid. You can also watch me stream these mods on Sunday, Monday, Thursday, and Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'd also love to read any questions or comments and will happily answer each of them. Thanks.